Good morning, folks. This is MAVEN, the Mars Magneto-focused mission set to study everything from the Mars climate history to solar wind effects on the Mars atmosphere. Think maybe we should use that magnetism to learn about Earth's climate? Apparently they do not. Excellent picture of a dust storm atop the Arabian Peninsula, courtesy of NASA's Earth Observatory. Folks, after a downtick that saw only one six-magnitude quake over a 10-day span, this makes four such quakes in just under four days. The Quake Uptick Watch is officially a success, and with no deaths, can't really complain. Canary Islands are still rocking away, but the four magnitudes have died down. Now, if you have not watched this area for long, it's done this every few months for a very long time, but after the volcano was born underwater a few years ago, they put the acoustic device near the area, the one many of you focus on, but since then the rumblings are nothing like they were before. They're much, much smaller. Also had a buoy enter event mode with a minor deviation a few hours ago. Australia, southern hemisphere high pressure is counterclockwise. Got two of them here and their motion in the center conflicts where most of the moisture and precipitation can be found. Europe, got some remnants of the last storm sleeping over Italy and snowing in the northeast. Hope you had time to dust yourself off for the next big low on our way to you. Flood gauges, across the country. This will get interesting next month with April showers and melting snow. Clouds raced across the Rockies last night, extending the southern portion of the low to nearly the Gulf states. The power of the low is still on the coast, however, depending on your local terrain might see major precipitation totals here and north of the border into Canada. I've also got the National Warnings map link for you below. Switching to space weather, gamma burst drought of 12 days is over, with the burst coming from way to the celestial north. Russian Neutron Network and the Bartol Muon Monitor both show decreasing cosmic ray density, likely due to the effects of an arriving coronal hole stream. On the endless spiral, density on top, speed on the bottom. The yellow on the bottom are coronal hole streams, very speedy. Notice the gaps seem to match the high density areas of the spiral above. This is a bunching of the solar wind before the speedy particles arrive, kind of like a shovel or a broom. Now coming back to our solar wind as measured by ACE, you see the density in orange rises like the bunched up snow building ahead of the shovel blade and afterwards the speed and temperature begin to climb. No geomagnetic storms expected, but the flux gate is showing magnetospheric disturbance. The energy is inducing a baseline frequency. Electron count hit the floor. Ghosts suggest auroras will be afoot tonight. It also suggests the sun partied too hard and is now sleeping through his solar max final. No flaring to speak of, and even a purely divided umbral region is magnetically homogeneous. All red negative in the umbra there. Venus, just below the sun. Mars is on the left, bigger than its immediately surrounding stars, and just below the arm you can see a sun diving comet headed in. Let's watch her demise today. Speaking of planets, they began lining up right now, and the moon is full as well. The umbral field has the dark coronal hole open to Earth. Four significant quakes so far. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.